today on my channel, I'll do another talk, like with my Superman Lives talk, and I'm wearing the same exact shirt with the Enderman. Okay, let's get started. Today, I didn't really knew what to do on my videos, and I actually felt like posting a video. I didn't know what to do, so I thought, hey, this is what I thought we would do. Why is Dr. Freeze the worst superhero? I mean, the worst superhero movie villain ever, probably. Okay, okay, like in 1987 when Superman 4 came out, a lot of people go seeing it and say, oh my gosh, this is so bad, this is not Superman. Then they probably thought for 10 years that Nuclear Man was going to be the worst superhero movie villain of all time. But then 10 years later, Batman and Robin came out. Everybody, lots of people watch they, and go pay their money to go see it. And guess what? It was horrible. Horrid, or should I say. So... Dr. Freeze was so bad as a villain that he was even dark. Like, he was like this. This is why the dinosaurs are the Ice Age. Really, would you like a villain that keeps saying that or keeps saying punts? It's so annoying. My prediction that actually he's, he's the worst superhero movie probably ever. Probably like until a thousand years later when they're getting when there's a lot of superhero movies or probably there's this another thing we're doing do, like superheroes on i don't know but if there was there would probably be another bad super badder superhero but i bet this dr freeze will always be remembered in batman and robin as the worst superhero movie villain Joel Schumacher really loves um, Batman Year One, and I guess that's why he made it to Batman movies. And they're really campy, he just wanted to make it for kids. So, it's pretty much a aimed for kids, he's, um, like people say, but I actually found out that it's actually PG-13, and so... Hope you like this video. I'll do more talks and I mostly do reviews. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And bye.